Hello, welcome to The Reading Room with Siv V here. Today we're doing a pick a card reading and it's going to be on the topic, Are you unfulfilled in your job career? But you can't leave. We'll give it up. What do you do? Before we get started, this is group one, group two. Uh, choose your group, pause the video if you need, and I'll see you there. Enjoy your reading. Hello, group one. This is to find out uh, why and what's going on and what we should do about it. You pick the card of success. This is your potential outcome. This looks very good. Money, um, abundance in some way, the right path, doing well. Let's find out more. Oh, let's pick this card too. Wow. Well, this is the focus. Focusing on something in particular. Your wish or your wishing for something. Definitely focused on it, though. Boys, oh boys, you're not uh, giving up on it. You want to know all the details. I feel there's a lot of details to be told. So, why is this job not fulfilling you and what's wrong? Well, you're on the defense, for one. You feel like you need to protect yourself or prove yourself all the time. For two, there's somebody that wants exactly what you want, willing to go for it. It's almost like pull um, and a tug. Somebody is being secretive or holding all what they can to themselves, not sharing. It's almost like there's a big competition, huge competition, and you're prepared for it. And you're going to definitely uh, give it a go and you're not going to give up. And you're pretty sure that you're the better person standing. And if it's not competition with someone else, you're in competition with yourself. You need to do better, be better, put, like, you know, and keep everything to yourself. Don't let anybody see your weaknesses. So it depends how you see it, how you're placing it. You know you're good enough. You know you belong there. You know that you, you deserve it. It's really in the center. It's not uh, showing that it's for you or for them. Hmm. Not everything is being said. Things are being held back. That's the, the reason that you're so unfulfilled is you just don't know. So what's going on here? Mm. Here it's a... Uh, what to do about it, right? What to do about it is react or act on it right away. It says the feast of plenty, choices and their, and their consequences. I always have a hard time with that word. I don't know why. But anyway, it's about choice. It's not about which one you take. It's about taking one. One will be a little bit uh, more challenging, a little bit more work but enjoyable. The other one is more about power, deciding, being uh, in control. But either one leads you to the same place. One gets you there a little farther, a little bit more serious, faster. The other one, um, more work, but enjoying your, your steps as you get there. But anyway, eventually they get to the same place. So what's going on? So what do you need to do? What do you need to do? What do you need to do? Mm. Well, I guess this one is meant after I read these because it doesn't want to lift. I am curious. <laughs> so, um, here it's uh, definitely thinking, thinking about what you're doing. Reevaluate because your opportunities are there and you've been waiting for them and it's quite disappointing. You're ambitious. You have so many wishes. There's so many things to do and you're not achieving any of them. So it's quite disappointing while you wait. So what to do is rethink. Think about that. Why are you waiting? Why are you disappointed? Why do you feel that you need to accomplish everything? Balance. 
this is what you need to do. You need to balance your options. Balance it in a better way. Both opportunities are good. Both choices for making money is really good. But what to do about it is to think. Like, think about what you're doing and how you're going about doing things. Because that seems to be important. I'm going to pull more cards, of course. I'm not going to let you hang there. But the definitely um, choosing to react or act on your on what needs to be done is going to bring in your opportunities in a lot faster. So don't uh, think, oh, well, I'm not going to be doing that because it doesn't matter. Well, it does matter. Um, or I'm waiting for someone to ask me. No, <laughs> just do. <laughs> do it. Even if it's an opportunity, every op- every time you do something, it brings you closer to your opportunity. Hmm. Not everything is clear. So the problem is you're not knowing the details really bother you. The change really bothers you without uh, solid direction. Sorry, I got to pull that card out because... For me, that card is so huge in your what to do is actually um, there's so much um, available. It's a shame not to grab the one that you want or the one that comes up first. You know, it's ongoing. Opportunities will keep coming. You don't need to be disappointed. You don't need to do everything and you don't need to wait. It almost feels like I need it to repeat it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I hope no one leaves because there's so much more. So, oh, right here it is. Yeah, your work, your hard work. The only thing that's stopping you is um, there's something that you're not sure about and you keep waiting. There's something that is specific. You're not sure what to do about it or if you should do anything about it or, but you're waiting, always waiting, wait for later, wait till you know, wait. And they said, no, do your work, do the job, act, react, take the changes and go with it. You're not going to know everything. You're not. So you have to change the way you, you perceive things. And it's all in um, what you're willing to do. It's almost like it's hard to step out of your comfort zone and jump into something when you don't know all the details. And the thing about it is you're prepared. You have all the skills. It's just you can't know everything. Not in this job or career. Well, you're going to love it. <laughs> so your opportunities come in and you grow with it. And once you've understood how to adjust to not knowing everything and all the details and just doing your job to the best of your abilities and keep working and see where it takes you, you become a pro. You become someone who knows exactly all the situations because you jumped in it and because you uh took it on upon yourself to do it without uh, all the details or all the facts or being told uh, uh, you're lacking knowledge or something. Anyway, you learn and you become someone that knows it, knows it well. And you go in blindly like you're, you, you, it's easy to see after a while. You don't need the details. You just kind of know what's going to be, how it's going to be. And you have it in a, in a way that you know what's fair and what's just. And you know how to handle and manipulate whatever you need to do in a way that is going to hold true to the contract or the words or um, what is the law or what is the organization's rules, whatever. A paper is important to you and it's wrapped in gold and it's going to be and it's tied up because it is um, something that you you uh, hold dearly or you stand by it. It's your sort of like an honor. 
So you become a real pro and then you love what you're doing, you love working with other people, love what you see, love uh, how it's presented. You're able to present it in uh, any way. You're able to put yourself out there in a way that um, suits the other half. And the other half wants to do the same for you. So you, you make your name and you're wanted and people seek you. And then when they have you, they want to hold on to you. They want to be loyal to you. They want you to be part of them. So the, the, we're not talking about love. We're talking about company careers. Your job is that you make your name. This takes a while to do, right? You have time because this is how you're going to end up with a lot of money and doing well for yourself because you stayed focused and that's one thing. Don't uh, stop yourself from being focused on what you want and prepared. That's fine. But it's how you go about doing it. Like, don't wait. That's what I'm getting. Jump right into it. The better you get, that's how it goes, you know. It's just going to flow that way. It's a new way of uh, looking at things, new way of working. This one says... I am loved, compassion, and able to bring healing to others. Yes, well, definitely. Once you bring, once you've become positive, and you have a positive outlook, and you see things in positive ways, that key word is being open, having your your um, heart out there, and not you know, not being afraid to show what you have, what you have to give, what you have to offer. It's going to be great. Definitely have a gift there. It says, start each day with a positive thought. <laughs> That's funny, this one. Uh, stop waiting. <laughs> stop waiting for things to happen. Go out and make them happen. What seems hard now will one day be easier with practice. Listen to silence. It has much to say. The more we share, the more we have. By discovering nature, you will discover yourself. If you are positive, you'll see opportunities. These messages go with what the re with the reading. Start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. Well, okay, I'm leaving it there. Hello, group two. So you pick the sun, and that is your potential outcome. Happiness, fulfillment for sure. Okay, let's find out what's going on here. I'm going to start with this one, and... This is the never-ending story. So there's some way that you feel life is going and you're always choosing, uh, trying to do things differently or working hard to have things change and it always uh, same old, same old kind of thing happening. And it's quite dissatisfying. So let's find out more about that. Well... You're not following your intuition and then you're not using your strength that you need to use to make things happen. And I'm not putting the blame on you for sure. I mean, it sounds like that, but that's why you're unfulfilled. That's what you're feeling. That's what you're thinking is that um, no matter what you do, it's just not going to come out in the, on top. It's not going to come out um, the way you want. It's not. Um, you're very hard on yourself, very harsh. You have a good heart. You're really soft, but you try to be strong, but you feel like you're not able to be the strength that you need. And boys, oh boys, you do not listen to yourself. And so you get uh, pretty frustrated so, okay, let's find out what you can do about it. Well, it says calm yourself. <laughs> no one wants to hear the word calm yourself. Yeah, meditate and stillness. So you're sort of doing that, but you feel like it's not working. 
And what it is is that the universe or, or source or whoever you believe in has been sending you some signals, some signs. You, you see, must see 11, 11 a lot or 11 or 111 or 11. You know, I feel like those numbers are something that might pop up in your, in your day. And you should pay attention to those signs because a lot of times you should stop and think, what was I just doing? Before you seen the number, what was I thinking? Because um, that's quite important. So here, have faith in what you're feeling, what you're doing, and what you're understanding. So your intuition is huge, for one. And for two, your stress level and the barriers that you put in front of yourself. I'm going to pull more cards with that. That's not complete thoughts. Complete um, cards. I feel like there's way more. Oh, there they are. Mm. It sort of sneaks up on you, right? And then you... Oh, I get it. Yeah, because things are whispered. Things are told and you're not listening. And that's why you're receiving a lot of headaches or feeling stressed. And then you feel like, uh, I got to pay attention. You, you sense it. This is quite, this is quite, um, and you're really in tune with yourself, but you don't, you don't go like you just stay and you kind of freeze up because look, the fence isn't very big and you can step over it, but you're not right. And, um, asking for the help that you need or figuring out the steps that you need. So there's something from what I'm understanding, because sometimes I have to tell the story before the message comes through, and it takes a moment, right? But what I'm understanding is that you're not uh, following through on what you believe and what you feel you need to do, and you ignore what you know or what's being told to you. You sort of like... Instead of being right out there and letting them know you you have an understanding, you sort of like try to do without no one noticing, you know. Um, but there's, you're actually on the, you can actually do the work yourself easy. I mean, you just have to do it in, in your way, in your time, or you have to ask for help and then, then you are guided along and everybody does their part. Working in a different way and listening to yourself is what's going to help a lot. You may also feel that um, no one's listening, but they are, or they would. Hmm. Just a minute, we're going to continue with that. Yeah, you have to let things flow. Mm. Well, I'm not going to say that things are not hard where you are, but there's either a lot of jealousy towards you or you're jealous or you're having um, issues. You want to control what's going on um, or people want to control you. It's just not flowing, um, not able to put yourself the way you want. To be put, it's almost like you feel like people stop you from succeeding or doing what you want to do. But in reality, it's a, it's a hard. It's right now, the work is um, not as easy. Looking back, uh, there was a lot done, lots been done, but continuing, it's not easy right now. Nothing's easy. Keep trying to get better, but ask for help. Things will change. There will be an even exchange. Money will come in and you will be uh, contributing the way you want. It, it'll happen. It will happen. And just right now, see, it, you're going you're gonna to come to this point where you're going to be very, very happy and fulfilled and content. And it's going to happen. You're, you're sort of a, like, went through a lot already and it's sort of getting there but not quite yet so there's still more to go there's still this way of feeling for a while 
but it would make things easier if you learn to ask for help and you listened uh, and then instead of shutting it off, maybe try it, you know, and instead of uh, doing things without others noticing, maybe let them know that you're doing that. This is what I plan to do. This is how I want to do it. Step out of your comfort zone. Step, take the barriers that you put yourself into and take them away. Just step over them and, you know, join the group, join the crowd, join the team. I sympathize with you because I do not see this as easy, but I see it as worth it, worth the change, worth the effort, even because even if it's not right now. Focusing on the goal, the goal of the money, the goal of the career, focusing on that. See, here, there's lots to do in front, and I feel like that's something that may stop you. Maybe there's just too much to do, and maybe you need to focus on one task, and, and um, or maybe a group, like the team has to focus on finishing something before continuing. But either way, there's so much to do. There's so many um I feel like it could be jobs, contracts, or or um, task, but there's lots ahead. It's not going to end now. So this uh, career or this job uh, is going to last for a long time. I want to say lifetime, but I mean not that you're going to be there a lifetime. But the this company or this this uh, these jobs are just endless. Anyway, you you focus on on what you want to accomplish. And stay focused on the money part, what's serving you. And you're going to be able to work in a certain way that you've been wanting to work. It's going to be the way you want. You're going to be the one that's going to be saying, you're going to be the one that's going to be in charge of your own destiny, you're in charge of your own uh, results. And you're going to do it in such a way that it fulfills you. But that's when you start to learn. Step out of your comfort zone and ask for help or or do it in a different way. Okay, so I'm going to pull these messages right here for you. Um, heart chakra. I love myself and others unconditionally and nurture loving relationships. Yeah, you're going to love yourself and others because you're going to be more open. It's the heart chakra. And it's definitely um, opening yourself. It's going to open up all your opportunities for sure. It says, it always seems impossible until it's done. And that's how this job is feeling or this career. Uh, you can totally do this. Do something today that your future self will thank you for. It says, explore, dream, and discover. Yes, take an attitude that makes it worthwhile, I guess. Don't be, don't, don't tolerate less than you deserve. Whoops. There is no failure. You either win or learn. Don't forget to fall in love with yourself first. Surprise is the greatest gift which life can grant us. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there.